This is 5 Minutes with Mike. Our news, our voice, and our opinion. With your host, Michael Beckford. Now stop, listen, and pay attention for 5 Minutes with Mike. Welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes with Mike. We're going to jump right into this episode today. This episode topic is the city of Miami allegedly honors Black History Month with a police car. Okay, this is just crazy. Ridiculous. (laughs) Crazy. Way to go, city of Miami. But anyway... Here we go. We're just a few days in until until Black History Month, the shortest month of the year, by the way. And here we have the great city of Miami, my hometown, allegedly wanting to honor Black History Month with a rap city of Miami squad car. Now, here's why I say allegedly, because I don't know what their intentions are. Yes, there's a squad car out there. They have the African flag in the back and all that stuff. But I say allegedly because I don't know what their true intentions are when it comes down to Black History Month or even black people. But to me, this is yet another example of the powers that be that prefers to give black people a symbol rather than a check. They'd rather give us a symbol rather than real change that is needed right now to bring a fresh start to the disproportionate treatment of black people in America. Shame on the city of Miami. Shame on the mayor running around his little press tour in regards to this unneeded squad car. And guess what? They're going to lock up black people in it. (laughs) It's crazy. What an outright travesty it is for black people and people of God to have to deal with a nation that doesn't give a damn about us. I would have preferred them just give a speech, say a couple prayers and remember Black History Month. This is about as sad as the supposed MLK with Coretta Scott brand new statue crap they got going on. It Some people say it looks like a penis. I think that the damn the dang on thing looks like a penis or whatever. But we don't need another symbol. We need a check. Five Minutes of Mike is sponsored by the Urban Classics Collection. Download 12 ebooks plus three audio books, all for less than the price of a hardback book. With best telling titles such as Down to Be Straight and thought provoking books such as Speak Up Poetry and Dirty Negroes, this collection of Urban Classics is all brought to you in the Urban Classics Collection, which is written by me, Michael D. Beckford. Link is in the description below. With a limited time, 50% off discount promo code 2023 books. That's 2023 books for 50% off the Urban Classes Collection. Link is in the description below. Now, back to the episode. The city of Miami allegedly honors Black History Month with a police car. Allegedly, once again. <laughs> um, Now to my first segment. Who does the squad, the squad car benefit Directly in in relations to the black community. I'll wait for it. No one. All right. (laughs) Moving on to my next segment. Does the city of Miami have a proposal to not only fighting crime, but also fighting racism within their department? Let's see. Hmm. I'll wait for that one. But I can tell you this. The city of Miami has had uh, some issues when it comes down to racism in their department. Um, just a couple of years ago, there's been some um, racial profile and other high pro- profile incidents by the city of Miami, um, even changing hands and, and also uh, different chiefs. So uh, the city of Miami got a lot more to do when it comes down to uh, proper policing and also, uh, un, you know, bias within their particular department before they give us another black history car. Uh, because honestly, true change comes from within and this little symbol that they did, I mean, it's a nice little press release and, you know, hey, it, it, it did what it did. Got me talking about it. But at the end of the day, it is not what black people ask for. On to my next segment. Is the city of Miami Police Department willing to sell this car and donate the profits towards social justice change? Doubtful, <laughs> but at least I throw it out there. Why not, right? Come on, city of Miami. If you wanna you wanna add you wanna do something for black history, there's no better way that you could do it than to put some of that oomph 
when it comes down to social justice change. And that change, once again, starts with you. It starts with your police department. It starts with your accountability. It starts with your training. It starts before anyone even becomes an officer with the psycho psychological testing that should be done for all police officers when it comes down to who they're serving. And if you're scared, if you're scared as a police officer, if you say you fear your life, don't become an effing police officer. Like, seriously, if you are that in fear of your life, do not become an effing police officer. Go somewhere else. Do something else. Do something. Then go pick up some trash or something else that's not going to cause you to fear your life and take another life at the end of the day. Please just get off the force right now. Anyway, <laughs> I know it was a little bit of a long rant, but like this is just inexcusable. This is Black History Month and we get this type of crap. Here's another segment of Black Facts. Carter Godwin Woodson, born December 19th, 1875, and passed away April 3rd, 1950. Carter G. Woodson was an American historian, author, journalist, and the founder of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History. He was one of the first scholars to study the history of the African diaspora, including African American history. A founder of the Journal of Negro History in 1916, Woodson has been called the father of black history. In February 1926, he launched the celebration of Negro History Week, which was the precursor of Black History Month. Now, let's take him to church. Hallelujah. <laughs> Black History Month is about more than symbols and trinkets. It's about black lives mattering every single day. And one of the best ways to help support this channel is by purchasing our newly minted merch. Introducing the Michael Beckford Collection, a new collection of socially conscious apparel. Get your tees, hoodies, caps, and more. Link is in the description below. Please hit and please like and hit that subscribe button. In Five Minutes with Mike is written, produced, and directed by Michael D. Beckford, all rights reserved. Copyright 2023 by Speak Publishing International and the Michael Beckford Media Group LLC production. Thank you for listening and watching.